Perfect time to bring in Philip Snyder, defense attorney, former prosecutor. Philip, I'm interested to get your take on this. What do you think about Brett Seacat and his face not being shown on camera? Have you ever seen that before? I, I've never seen anything like that before. I, I have no idea uh, the reason behind that. I'm sure there's a good reason. It's a very good defense attorney, but <laughs> I, I've never seen that done before. What do you think about the evidence against Brett Seacat and the way they're touching on it, as you would assume a defense attorney would do, talking about two cell phones that he destroyed, also a hard drive to a computer? Are they touching on that so then when the prosecution gets to him, they feel like they have the bases covered? I guess sometimes you try to dampen the evidence against them. But, you know, as watching this trial, mm -hmm. the state has shoveled shoveled mm -hmm. tons of evidence against him dirt is on top of him and it sounds right. like the defense attorney is just trying to claw his way out with a little tiny baby spoon i'm not really sure his procedure going on here he needs to go strong and fast attack the major issues in this case how damaging do you think that suicide note is i guess if you believe that his wife wrote it you think that she killed herself if you think he forged it you believe that he murdered her uh, so that's really a big part of this case in proving it either way you know, that was the one out that he had was to hopefully show the jury that she wrote that suicide note. And then you hear that the expert they hire isn't even certified. Oh, my God. <laughs> who's doing the vetting process for the defense team? That's the expert you hire? Someone who's not even certified or licensed? Crazyville. I felt it to be uh, unbelievable in a way. I guess we never know if she was depressed, how someone would react who was suicidal. But to say in the suicide note how much she loved her two boys and then to go ahead by his account to burn down the house with the boys inside didn't really make sense to me. N nothing about this trial makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't make sense that she would, the person who's filing for divorce writes this outrageous note mm -hmm. and then you have the facts that he may have been forging documents with one of those old school projections mm -hmm. and you have an expert that says that the item is forged. It, it's very difficult for Brett Seacat to overcome that. And Philip, if you're representing him, where do you go? Where is his only hope here? To prove that his wife was in fact depressed to get testimony on that side of it? Where do you go? You know, every defense attorney has their own plan. That wouldn't be my plan. Mm -hmm. You hope Brett Seacat takes the stand. You hope he comes off as emotional and contrite and sad and emotional. And right now he's coming off as Kenny Banya to make a Seinfeld reference. He's telling flat jokes. He looks dull. The jury is not interested. He's on a sinking ship. If he doesn't turn it around soon, he's going to be in jail for the rest of his life. Yeah, and we have a, a CNN reporter at the scene there who's saying that on the stand, maybe this is why we're not seeing his face, because he's making kind of smirking, smiley faces, even saying the day that his wife died, he dropped the body, ran after his kids. It really just doesn't add up. Philip Snyder, thanks for your input on this.